The Legacy Prep Program, sponsored by Patsy Brown and the Armed Forces Chamber, is available now. The program safeguards property from government seizure, plus probate court, and distributes property to loved ones. The Legacy Prep Program, sponsored by Patsy Brown and the Armed Forces Chamber, provides estate planning paperwork, document preparation, notarization, and registration. Services are provided by a licensed and bonded document preparer, notary plus supervised by a lawyer. The Legacy Prep Program is sponsored by Patsy Brown and the Armed Forces Chamber. Info at LegacyPrepPro.com. That's LegacyPrepPro.com. Armed Forces Chamber Live is produced by the Armed Forces Chamber of Commerce. Nevada's first Chamber of Commerce formed to serve veteran-owned firms. Andre Haynes and Patsy Brown have in-depth, insightful, and intimate discussions about business, community, and workforce development. Everyone, please help me welcome Andre Haynes and Patsy Brown. Good morning, everyone. I'm your host, Andre Haynes. Thank you for tuning in to Armed Forces Chamber Live. We have an exciting episode in store for you today. I'd like to take the moment and introduce our first special guest. I want to introduce to some and present to others, my friend and your friend, Deborah Marsh, Mayor of the City of Henderson. How are you doing, Mayor? Wonderful. What a pleasure it is to be with you today, Andre. Thank you so much for making time in your schedule to be in on the show with us. We appreciate that. Uh, Mayor, I know you don't have a lot of time because a lot of good things are happening in the city of Henderson. So if I may, I've got a few questions I'd like to ask you. Wonderful. Awesome. So Henderson is consistently ranked as one of the best cities in America to live and one of the best cities for veterans. What makes Henderson such a great place for veterans? Well, you know, Andre, as the daughter of two veterans and, and a Blue Star mother, uh, supporting our veterans and their families is very important to me. And of course, Henderson was originally founded in defense of our country during World War II. Many people don't know that. And ever since those patriotic beginnings, Henderson has sought opportunities to honor our veterans and to show our appreciation. For instance, we have a long-standing relationship with the Purple Heart Chapter 730, which led us to become the first Purple Heart city in Nevada. And that later led to the creation of the beautiful Purple Heart Plaza just off Water Street, where we celebrate Purple Heart Day every year. Uh, Henderson was also the first city in Nevada to have a Gold Star Memorial. And we are very proud of our Veterans Memorial Wall at City Hall, where we honor annually on Veterans Day. We have a wonderful ceremony for the community. And with uh, Memorial Day coming up, we're preparing for the Field of Honor Ceremony at Cornerstone Park, which is the Rotary Club of Green Valley's big celebration where more than 1,000 flags are displayed to honor Henderson's heroes. Uh, in the last year, we've also worked with the Veterans Service Organization to create the Henderson Veterans Organization Forum to enhance communication and collaboration with groups who serve our heroes. And we're proud to support programs like Hire Our Heroes, which helps veterans to find employment when they're leaving service, and also Heroes to Education, which helps veterans and their spouses continue their service in our schools. You know, Henderson is a wonderful place for everyone to call home, uh, and especially for our residents because of the high quality of life and the national award-winning amenities that we offer in our community. Wow, that is amazing. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, economic development is a strategic priority for Henderson. What has been most successful about your approach? Well, thank you for asking. You know, economic development is about creating jobs of the future. And when I first became mayor in 2017, I actually was invited to attend a roundtable in Detroit with Michael Bloomberg. And I came back from that meeting inspired and very focused on bringing high-skilled, high-paying jobs of the future to Henderson, the jobs that are going to be here long after you and I are gone. Uh, we've been very specific in targeting industries like advanced manufacturing and logistics, healthcare and life sciences, corporate headquarters and global finance, and technology. 
And through that effort, in just the past few years, we've attracted employers like Google, Vada Tech, Toronto Baking Company, Haas Automation, and others. And they bring high paying jobs and are transforming our community. It's really exciting to see our vision come to a reality. And we'll continue with our efforts to build more diverse and more stable and resilient economy in Henderson. Wonderful. Now, workforce development must play into that as well. How is Henderson creating workers of the future? You know, absolutely. And that's why quality education is so critical in our strategy. Since 20, 2015, we invested more than $9 million to bring additional resources to our teachers and to our students in Henderson schools. We partnered with the Clark County School District to create career opportunities for students. We also look forward to the development of the new CCSD Career and Technical Academy in Henderson, which we're expecting in 2024. And we're working with higher education institutions to address the workforce needs of the future as well. We uh, contributed to the Nevada State College's new Glenn and Andy Christensen School of Education that opened last year, and it will significantly increase the teacher pipeline in our community. And we're also working with the Nevada State College and the College of Southern Nevada, where we helped to create the Betty Ingolstadt School of Health Sciences, which will help to address critical needs in our community for more healthcare professionals as well. And now we're partnering with the College of Southern Nevada to build a new center of excellence right next to Haas Automation in West Henderson to prepare our current and future workforce for the high-skilled jobs that are coming to our community. Wow, thank you. Now. Our best, our best public servants leave a legacy at the end of their terms. I can think of a lot of ways you've left things better than when you found them. But what are you most proud of since becoming mayor of Henderson? Well, that's an excellent question, and I'm so pleased I can answer and share my thoughts. Uh, I'm very proud of how our city team and community came together during the COVID-19 pandemic, an experience like unlike anything that we've ever faced in Southern Nevada. Henderson was recognized with state and national awards from the American Planning Association for our effective response. And we were proud to share our response plan with other municipalities to help guide recovery throughout the region. And I'm also uh, really happy with our partnership with the Golden Knights organization as well. It brought us to uh, our, our very first professional sports team, the Henderson Silver Knights, and led to the creation of Lifeguard Arena and now the new Dollar Loan Center. But I have to tell you, I'm most proud that we're the second safest large city in America, and that we offer a nationally recognized quality of life, that we've got national award-winning parks and recreation programs, and that there are so many other awards and accolades that demonstrate our successes as a city. And I believe that we truly are shaping a premier community here in Henderson. Mark is on hold. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, wonderful. Well, that, that's all the questions that I have. Would you like to uh, have any final comments or closing remarks? Well, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to join you today. There's so many exciting things that are happening in Henderson, and I'm really proud of our team and everything that they've accomplished. I've lived in Nevada for more than 40 years, and I look forward to continuing uh, service to community, a community that I love. Thank you so much, Andre, for having me today and, and uh, for allowing me to reach out to your veterans and let them know how important they are in our community. Thank you so much, uh, Mayor. We appreciate having you and look forward to having you again in the future. Thank you, Andre. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Armed Forces Chamber Live. That was Deborah March. Mayor in the city of Henderson. You heard it here, folks, on Armed Forces Chamber Live.